this will be the most realistic, probably chaotic 24 hours with a newborn that you will ever watch on YouTube. Ain't that right, ain't it, bud? Say, because I'm about to get them and run for their money. Run for their money, honey. don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it is 8 o'clock, so we're starting from 8 p.m. and we're going all the way to 8 p.m. tomorrow. I encourage you to go watch my last video before you freak out as you hear this baby scream because she's going to scream. For someone to have silent reflux, she sure does eat a lot. Now, granted, I think I know for a fact it's getting a lot better, a whole lot better because she only, she only starts really showing like symptoms of it at night in the evening time. During the day now, she's completely fine. She smiles. She is very alert. It's during that like five to ten-ish window that is like you can put money on her turning up that's all that's the only thing i can say okay with your battle that's me so elora is eating dinner i need to go pump i also need to eat dinner but after dinner we'll do bath time yeah we were gonna give elena a bath tonight but I don't think that's wise because she's about to go back to sleep anyway. Elena. She's revving up. How about we just change into your jammies? Let me see. Oh. Are you okay? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's find your pajamas and get you ready for night night. We have to do all of this. That's all we have to do. Let's just find your pajamas and go night night. Sound like a plan? If I can find your pajamas, because my God, you and your sister in all of these clothes, where oh where? Put a onesie B. All right, let's get changed. Hey, you don't have to freak out. You don't have to freak out. Need a passy. You have to get your clothes on. machine can you come plug it up Wow, I'm already dog tired. 
tired, exhausted, sleepy, y'all. I maybe got like three hours of sleep last night total. So I have been really just running on Jesus and caffeine. So typically I do fall asleep, which is why I try to do my nighttime routine, my nighttime self-care routine before I put her to bed because I fall asleep with her. And if my husband wants to do a little sign sign, he don't have to wake me up because I'll be knocked out, okay? She was actually supposed to get a bath tonight. Uh, but I guess we can do it in the morning, potentially. But I do want to show y'all these products that we've been using and loving on both of the girls. For their skin. Oh my gosh, y'all, this all over bomb balm that I'm going to show you has cleared Elena's baby acne and her dry patches and just like her baby face so much. Like her face is so much better because of this balm. And uh, I can't wait to show you what it is. Like all of the products are the bomb, but especially this all over balm. It has really transformed Elena's skin, so I'm going to show y'all that. Um, when Alora gets in the tub, because she uses the products as well, I need to not be loud because I don't know if I want to wake her up. So, Elora is in the bathtub. I don't want to show her for privacy reasons. I don't know if y'all know, but there's this new company out, co-founded by Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union called Proudly. The Hall of Famer doing way. Y'all, I and y'all know how mama bears are, okay? We want the best for our babies, especially their fragile, sensitive skin. They were literally made to care for the skin of black and brown babies, melanated babies, which is so dope, y'all. We finally got a baby skincare line for us. Okay, so we have the gentle baby wash here. I think it's like halfway gone. Yeah, it's like halfway gone. Elora uses it, Elena uses it for sure, especially because she's a newborn and she has really sensitive skin, Elena does. I feel like all newborns have sensitive skin, but um, when we got home from the hospital, Elena's face went crazy with like the baby acne and- Oh, mommy. Yes, ma'am. No, boo boo, you've had ice cream twice today. We're not eating any more ice cream, I'm so sorry. I love this gentle baby wash because I don't have to worry about, you know, their skin breaking out or having some kind of allergic reaction to any of the ingredients because I use it faithfully on both of them. There's aloe and jojoba oil in here and it's lightly scented with lavender chamomile. So it smells really good. It's like a very faint kind of scent which is good because I don't like overpowering scents um, in my skincare products for my babies. So when the Laura gets out of the tub, I'm gonna show you how we treat her skin because we basically do it the same way that we do Elena's. So when she gets out and dressed, I'm gonna show you how we get her all smooth, moisturized, hydrated, all of that. Are you ready to get out? Okay, well, let's set the timer for one minute. Okay. When, when it goes off, we gotta get out, okay? Put an all over balm on her face. And this is what we do for Elena, too. Look at that. <laughs> you get your skin so moisturized. And the ingredients in here, the ingredients in all of these products are super clean they're plant-based um they're very transparent about what's in their products so there's no none of that like yucky stuff that when you flip the bottle over or something and you look and you can hardly pronounce the words that's not at all the case with this so we do the all over balm on the face on the lips like a lip balm kind of i put it on my elbows and like knees and stuff this is the lotion that we love so much. Obviously, look how beat up it is. <laughs> it smells so good, and it is so... When it says hydrating, we do, no, I do that the one. hydrating body lotion, and then we seal it in with the nourishing body oil. 
And when I tell you the girls be looking like a glazed donut, this is the nourishing oil. Daddy will do this. I put this stuff. on my like chest and stuff too, and it it really does make you glow. So. Oh, also, I gotta show y'all what I do for Elena's cradle cap. This is what I use in Elena's hair for her cradle cap. And when I tell you, it literally like lifts the dry patches. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. So this is what we use too. So yeah, girl, these are our tried and true skincare products that we use for the girls, proudly. Such a good company. All of these ingredients, all of the products were formulated with melanin babies in mind. So. They are quite literally for black and brown babies. And um, they take care of our skin quite well. It is risk approved because I am very uh, anal when it comes to stuff like this and when it comes to really anything that I put on my girls, especially when it comes to their skin. So if you wanna shop proudly, they are at Target, but I will have some links in the description box for you so that you can learn more. If you wanna shop them individually, they do have bundles even on their website. So um, you could go to proudly.com or you can go to target.com or you can go into your local Target and check them out in person. And if I haven't said it, this video is in partnership with Proudly. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. It's so cool. The thing is, I don't think I have any clean robes to put on because every single one of my fluffy robes are in one of these dirty clothes at first. I need to get my life together, okay? There's certainly not one in there. I'm gonna go see if I have some in my closet. This is really horrible. My baby bought me this robe for Christmas. She's so sweet. <laughs> this is my favorite robe just because my baby girl bought it for me. I'm just gonna do my regular day glush, regular skincare routine because I am so tired. I don't even wanna eat. I just really wanna go to sleep, honestly. Take my makeup off with my Dermalogica pre-cleanse or or I have a brand new bottle, a fresh new bottle of my Cloud Care Cream Oil Cleanser from Agency. This was a part of my pregnancy skincare routine video that I did. I still love these products. I use them faithfully. This moisturizer is my nighttime moisturizer, like my faithful nighttime moisturizer, the bomb. I use it every single night. I can't wait to get in front of my heater and eat my food and fall asleep. Oh my God, I still have to pump. I feel like she, yeah, she did just eat, okay. The last time I pumped was almost six hours ago. That is horrible. Let me hurry up and do my, let me hurry up. Oh my gosh, my face. I haven't put my moisturizer on. My acne treatment is on. That's why it looks dry and crusty right now. I was able to get eight and a half ounces out of that pump session go me so we use the ma'am bottles i think i've told you guys this before right now she's only drinking two and a half to three ounces every feed so that's what i make her bottles for typically at night i only make her about two and a half a little bit more than two and a half ounces just because she's so drowsy and she like hardly she hardly eats at night to be honest anymore which is great because she used to have day and night confusion like a mug and it was really horrible for everybody she would literally sleep all day and be up all night <laughs> it was awful so now at night she does great like she usually does like four hour stretches um i'm gonna tell you how we do nights in a second because you need to know for what you're about to see so we put some gas drops in her bottles always and the reason being is because she obviously gets gassy but you can do gas drops the smethicone drops up to 12 times a day but also i am not a doctor I'm not a healthcare anything, so please don't take my word and run with it. Please do all of your research, all of the things, all of the mom things. And then we also put these um, enzyme drops in her bottle. So you do four of these, and basically this is a uh, digestive aid and it breaks down the lactose um, in the baby's milk. 
to concentrate because <laughs> you only put four drops in here. We put this in all of her bottles just because it's a digestive aid and you know it seems to help. It's called cold leaf. By the way all of this stuff will be linked in the description box. And then just because we're here in the morning time she gets her probiotic drops. I feel like all of these things combined is what has really helped her to like calm down and only be screaming at night right before bed. She probably won't scream anymore tonight. Like what y'all just saw, that's it. She's good. So now we're only we're only having to deal with this once a day mainly in the evening time, which is such an improvement from what we used to deal with. Got this bottle taken care of. Now I'm going to freeze a bag of this, obviously, because this is a lot of milk. Actually, I'm going to measure it to three. So it can be exactly three. So this right here is two three ounce bottles. I'm going to put one in the fridge and then I'm also going to freeze one love when this happens because it helps to build my stash and then I don't have to worry about uh, pumping and giving her fresh milk every single time which is great I think I talked about how bomb these target uh, breast milk bags are in oh I don't even think I posted that vlog uh, come back after this video <laughs> because I talk a lot about um, like my postpartum cart, these milk bags, like the the different kind of milk bags that I've been through and hated, all of the things. But just because we're here, I'm also taking this um, Mother's Milk, Mother's Love More Milk Plus. It's a breast milk supplement. I feel like these have helped my milk supply. Actually, I really should not be talking with my face looking like this, all dry and crusty. And white stuff all on it and stuff but whatever I feel like the main thing that has helped my milk supply is not stressing about my milk supply and I started to at first because <clears throat> I was quite literally only producing enough milk to feed my baby like my body knew that she only needed two and a half to three ounces at, at every feed and so when I started pumping, that's all the milk that I was getting. And I started stressing because I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna exclusively pump, obviously I want to build my stash up more. I was already building my stash when um, she was nursing because I was using the Haka to catch my letdown. And I do, I have a nice little stash in there. I guess I'll show you guys tomorrow. But I tell myself, I am not gonna stress out over this. I'm gonna do what I need to do and not like obsess over it as far as doing every single thing in the book and doing every single thing that the internet tells you to do to get your milk supply up like i'm not about to i'm not doing that so i got a few things girl to help with that uh these supplements were one of them also some lactation cookies i'll show you guys those tomorrow they are so even if they weren't lactation cookies I would still eat them because they are like the best hard cookies I've ever had in my life the only thing is they have milk I didn't realize it so I have to be very careful eating those because Elena has a milk protein allergy that I mean I've been eating oatmeal every single morning uh, I drink body armors in water every day that's pretty much the only way I stay hydrated. Other than that, girl, I'm not doing no power pumping. I'm not drinking no tea. I mean, I have some mother's milk tea up there, but I haven't drink. I haven't drink it. The moment I stopped myself from stressing out about this, my milk supply just shot up like crazy. So now I'm able to not only produce enough for my baby to eat at each feed, but I'm able to produce enough to freeze a bag each time and put a bag in the fridge each time which is more than enough I'm so grateful I wouldn't say I'm an oversupplier but I have a really good healthy supply and I'm I'm grateful for that so that's my little tidbit I gotta go eat my chicken I haven't even eaten yet Hey, girl. 
girl. What you doing? I just opened my eyes. Oh my gosh, you were asleep? So, um, Elena is a very loud sleeper because of her silent reflex she like what's the word I'm looking for she like grunts and squirms and what else she don't really do a whole lot of that not anymore sometimes she used to cry in her sleep so <clears throat> her being next to me was not working because I already had to get up but the, and this is when I was nursing her I already had to get up nurse the baby burp the baby then I had to lay her back down and have to listen to her be uncomfortable all night I was literally not sleeping at all and I was about to lose my mind so I was like okay well since she takes a bottle now and I had to get over the whole like control thing like me wanting to control everything when it comes to my kids especially the little babies like them feeding and stuff but I was like well since I'm pumping and she's taking a bottle she can go to her daddy so I suggested to Elliot why don't you two just come out here in the living room and sleep and try to see how that goes and you could do the feedings I'll still get up to pump throughout the night I'll prepare the bottles, you just make sure they're clean, and we'll do it that way. Would you say we've had success with that? Yeah, for my part. So that's how we do things. Elora and I sleep in the bedroom. Elliot and Elena come out here and sleep in the living room. Elora has been co-sleeping with us since we had COVID. July of 2022. Alora was very, very sleep trained before COVID. And after COVID hit, she, I mean, she just ain't never got out of our bed. <laughs> so yeah, we thought that we were going to transition her back into her big girl room before Elena was born didn't happen i knew that elena would be obviously co-sleeping with us in our bedroom but Alora had to get up out of our bed so i was like you either gotta go sleep in your own room or you can take that mattress put it on the floor and get on it and that's just how we're gonna do things so that's why her pink mattress is in there on the floor she's sleeping there it's fine <laughs> so yeah that's how we do the feeding so i will show you guys like the process of everything when I wake up to pump and come out here to like fix the bottles and when he does the feedings and all of that good stuff so I'm about to go to sleep I gotta get up in about what time is it I have to get up in an hour and a half all right come on you're gonna make me put you up another way come on <laughs> especially with you laying right here no <laughs> Could go get her now. I had to bring out a one ounce bag that I had in the fridge for this next bottle because I only pumped five ounces, which means 
I only have two ounces left, so it's a good thing that I had one ounce in the fridge. So I'm taking it out just to bring it to room temperature. Since she's about to eat, we can have that out now. She been drinking all the bottles, the entire bottles. squirmy she was she's in here with me i'm about to feed her it's been two hours and 47 minutes since she last ate um she i bring her in here and we do this every morning so we switch off like when i get up i'll come out and tell him to go in the room and lay down and get some rest until elora gets up so yeah we'll switch out i'll come out and take elena and bring her into my office with me and she'll just lay in her lounger until she gets up. If she gets up, I'll bring her up here with me and she'll be chilling. This is when I have my devotional time. So, obviously I'm not going to let y'all in on my devotional time. I'm going to spend time with Jesus. And when I'm done, I have so much work to do. I have two very incredibly important meetings today that to get prepared for i guess like mentally i don't know i have a lot of work to get done today and i have two meetings in addition to that so it's probably gonna be an eventful day little mama just woke up she's looking at the screensaver because i have a very colorful screensaver <laughs> thank you for morning everybody good morning It's 7.30. Typically, she doesn't get up this early. She usually gets up around like 8.39-ish. This is pretty early for her, so I'm kind of like surprised that she's up chilling with me. It's just us because Elliot and Alora are still asleep, which is nice. So if she does wake up this early, um, <laughs> I just invite her in to my morning times with the Lord. <laughs> uh, I usually have worship music going. I just paused it to record this. And she'll just sit and listen to the worship music. She'll watch me study my word and, you know, pray, hear me pray, do all the things. So, see, she's just chilling right now. This is typically what she does when she wakes up. She just chills until she's ready to go back to sleep, which she is normally ready to go back to sleep very shortly after she initially wakes up which is kind of weird because it's like you just slept for 12 hours how are you ready to go back to sleep already but that's her i don't know i don't know i have my bottle i'm being entertained by all the colors because you are really watching <laughs> yeah you like those pretty colors You do. You're so cute. What do you want for breakfast? Cereal? Maybe eggs and sausage and crackers. 
Did you go potty? Uh. Go potty. Okay, I got some of my admin work done. I just had to sign like five contracts, which is a blessing. I'm not complaining. Oops, dang it. I hate when I do that, when somebody accidentally calls me and I like don't answer the phone on purpose because I'm busy and then I accidentally call them back. Great, now she's calling me back. God, dang it. Hey girl. Hi. Yeah, so I got some of that done, most of it done. I'm about to go get in the shower. I look so crusty, my hair and my face and it, ugh. This is real life, people, okay? Come on, Laura, let's go eat some breakfast. Close the toilet gently. Or did you already flush it? Do y'all see why I get up early every day? Even though I get only two hours of sleep on average per night? Yeah. It's the only quiet time that I ever get anymore. You want an apple with your bacon? Do you want peanut butter? Yes. Are you sure? Like, are you going to eat it or are you just saying that? Red or green? Green. We're probably gonna have to go to Walmart or Target before we go to church. Probably Walmart since it's right there. Yeah, it's your too, Mom. Yeah, you have rehearsal for Easter. Yeah. We're gonna go later, not right now. Mommy has a lot of work to do today. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be you, Daddy, and Elena hanging out. What is wrong with this knife? I know y'all are probably like, that is definitely not how you chop an apple, but I have to cut her apples a certain way because she's very picky and she also does not like the skin of the apple, the apple peel, because she chokes. So I know that's a lot of apple wasted. Normally I'll eat the apple, but I don't really have time to do that right now. When I tell you this is literally the best peanut butter you'll ever have in your life, that's exactly what I mean. I got it from Publix. It might be everywhere, but it is so, so good. I can eat it straight out of the jar. It's that good. Finishing up my makeup. Um, oh, I got mascara on my nose. I just got off of FaceTime with my sister and my cousin, which was really nice because I hardly ever get to talk to my cousin on FaceTime because he works so much. I love this thing. I didn't know that I would love it, but I love it because it just really brightens up my face without me having to like put on the lip liner. It's almost kind of like my natural lip color. It's this uh, Flower Beauty Plump Up Gloss Stick. I don't know what shade this is in, but um... Can you put it in a trash can? I think it's stuck though. It's that dirty. Yes, yeah, it's trash. I think this is stuck though. Actually, no, it's not. You just press it up and it comes out. Okay, great, because I didn't know how to do it. But it's just this really pretty like gloss stick and I love how natural looking it looks because it just really brightens up my face. So I didn't do a bunch to my face, obviously. I'm gonna throw on a smidge of lip liner just so that there's not like a harsh. You know, Elena is asleep. She's been asleep for about, I don't know, 45 minutes now. Elliot went outside to put her to sleep because she started cutting up. I know y'all heard that. And we'll I wake up. Out. Yeah, Allure is awake. So aside from my meetings, and we have to go what? to church. And Walmart too. Yeah, we have to go to church and wa either Walmart or Target because I have a few things that I have to get. Walmart! Well, I guess it doesn't really matter where we go. Maybe Publix. I think this is day hair I need it cut so bad let me zoom out oh my mommy. I need it cut so bad like my sides and my back oh my gosh I'm reading this email that my manager sent back to this brand this girl is cutthroat okay she knows what she doing period my meeting is in 30 minutes I pumped two hours ago I don't know why I thought it was longer than that I'm like really nervous for two out of four of these meetings and both of them are back to back so I just got done praying, asking the Lord to give me grace, favor, and peace because I need it right now. Oh my God. I tried to look in the pantry and find a snack that does not contain milk ingredients. And this was the only thing that I could find. So I'm gonna have to like <laughs> go to the store and get some kind of like fruit or 
peanut butter crackers or something. Good lord, everything contains milk. Right. Yeah. It's not, you know, then you just shove that one aside, make it later. Just because I feel like I embody the essence of that. So the I'm problem like, with some of the, so the contracts, what they say in the con, it depends on what they say in the contract. Um, in like terms of, you know, next step. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. I'll send you the contract. Um, okay. You want to do? I actually have a meeting with them in nine minutes at two thirty. Get this information. Yeah, I'm cc'd on the chain. I can forward you the chain. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's also going to be present that day. Okay. Um, so we're happy to, you know, like work with you. Okay. So yeah, just let me let uh, Tiffany know what you'd like to do, and then we can set something up with that producer. Okay. You get a text me whenever you get a second, hot second. Just text me and make sure that I'm not leaving anything out concerning time. Okay. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I need you to burp. Ah, there it is. You can tell I'm an, ex an extreme introvert because when I tell you I've drained after I talk for a long period of time. Oh my god, I feel like I got ran over by a bus. Welcome to nap, girlfriend. I wasn't a long nap at all. Only two hours. She's been sleeping on and off. Two, three, four. And you're gonna be asleep at church. Hey, girl. She pooped again. That's She's a, on her onesie. Ow. Yeah, the last one was on her onesie too. That's the new onesie I put on her. Does your tummy hurt? Her tummy hurts. Clearly. She's been asleep on and off all day. I have glasses marks on my nose because I keep taking my glasses on and off. She's been asleep on and off all day. I'm guessing this because she's she's acting like she doesn't feel well. She's acting like her tummy hurts because she this is her third blowout today. Did you enjoy your burger? No, I did. I gotta do your hair before we go to church. I'm so overwhelmed right now, in a good and a bad way. All I wanna do is take a nap. And then I go to church. Truly, but I can't because I have more and work I to get, do. I get in a push, I have a campaign push that I have to actually treat. like submit today that I shot yesterday and I still haven't edited it. So, there's that. Um, at Tuesday Church. Mm -hmm. She, something is wrong with her because she has diarrhea and won't stop pooping and uh, fussing. So I don't know what's wrong with her. I have not eaten since I had my oatmeal for breakfast this morning. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> my God. How are you in a shirt? I had McDonald's for the second day in a row. I really need to get it together. But also, I don't care what y'all say, McDonald's is good. <laughs> I am the epitome of an introvert because if I talk for a while, if I'm around people or have to deal with people for like more than 30 minutes, I can't do it. My energy is just automatically gone. I am stuck because I don't feel like doing this work. I also have to have a meeting with my husband. Not that kind of meeting though, like a real legitimate business meeting. <laughs> Yeah. No. Not that kind of meeting. The unfortunate thing is I have to fire someone on my team. What? I mean that is it is what it is. Sitting in my bedroom trying to get over you. Hope you still think about me. Come and sit in in my bedroom, trying to get over you, but I can't stop thinking about the only one I can't do without. That's B5, if y'all don't know. I don't know why I'm singing B5, sitting in my bedroom. <laughs> when I say I am exhausted, I am exhausted. I'm so sleepy, I'm so sleepy. Yeah. Thank you. I can barely even keep my eyes open at this computer. There, like, there's no way I can edit.
<laughs> this content, there's no way right now. And it, for, for it to like be good, there's no way. Like, oh my God, I can't even see straight. I'm dang near delirious. It is now 7.30 in the evening. Elliot and the girls are at church. I just, I was gonna keep Elena here with me. At first I was gonna go. And then I was like, no, I'm too tired. And then um, I was going to keep Elena here. But then I was like, absolutely not. I need a break. My brain is fried. I need some downtime. I need some time to myself. So y'all can go ahead and go and I'll be all right. So now I am knocking out some emails. And I don't want to be because I am so sick. I'm staring at this computer screen and I haven't even started to edit this campaign that that was supposed to be due today <sighs> because today has been one of the longest days that I've had in a while. I had to put some of that proudly all over balm under my eyes because for some reason after I did my skincare routine the my under eyes was burning they were burning so bad and I was like what the heck so I put some of that um, balm underneath my eyes and they stopped burning thank god because I don't know what the heck was going on so I think that we are just going to end the day here because there's literally nothing else to see I am knocking out some work when the girls get home we're going to do bath time and then we're going to sleep so I hope that you guys enjoyed this 24 hours with a newborn. It has been quite 24 hours. I think it's been 23 hours, but who's counting? Let me know in the comments if you enjoy vlogs like this. And um, I just want to say that although I am exhausted right now, I am so grateful to God for how well today went and how well these meetings went earlier. <sighs> I am very, very excited about this year and where things are going and where the Lord is taking me in my career. And I'm just, I'm just really grateful. I'm, I'm grateful for a supportive husband and a supportive family and supportive friends and a supportive team and all of the things. So I am just feeling really grateful and like really blessed right now. I am so sorry that these lights are blinking it's a technical error but yeah i hope that y'all enjoyed watching and i will see you in my next one Mwah! bye